Hi, my name is Natalia Lillette and I'm a real estate attorney here in the state of Florida and today I wanted to talk to you about ladybird deeds. So ladybird deeds are a type of transfer of title that can be used for estate planning purposes and to avoid probate administration. A ladybird deed is often thought of as a transfer of title from you to you as a life estate and then to people as a remainder. But the difference is that this isn't a typical type of um, life estate kind of a transfer. It is actually a life estate with retained authority, with retained powers in the grantors. So let's say that my grandmother uh, decided to do a lady bird deed for purposes of estate planning. Now my grandmother is a person with no current surviving spouse, she doesn't have minor children, and so she doesn't have to be concerned with the Florida constitutional constraints on devises when there's homestead in place. There's different rules for that, uh, which you would have to take into account for a lady bird deed. But let's say older person, no surviving spouse, and she wants to be able to keep a life estate in the property that she's living in, but give it to other members of her family if she passes away so they don't have to deal with probate. So a lady bird deed has to have reserved powers, express reserved powers that ensure that kind of lady bird quality, that ability to retain power and authority and control over your property while you're alive. Uh, and that would be express powers to uh, possess the property, express, express powers to enjoy exclusive benefit of the rental income that comes from it, exclusive authority when it comes to encumbering it, mortgaging, mortgaging it, pledging it, gifting it, um, and also the express authority to terminate that deed, meaning to cancel the deed, the express authority to terminate the interest of the remainder men, the express authority to sell the property without any of the remainder men having any authority, any say in it. And this is extremely important because a life estate deed that fails to include all of these powers, all of these authorities results in somebody having granted only a life estate to themselves and having to deal with all of these other grantees, the remainder men, uh, being involved in mortgaging, selling the property, encumbering the property, possibly having interest in the rental income of the property. So it's very, very important to have that language in these deeds. Uh, benefits of a Lady Bird deed in terms of the estate planning, you get a, state, a stepped up basis in the value of the property at the time of death of the grantor. There's uh, no Medicaid penalty, so it's not considered a transfer of assets for Medicaid planning purposes. And there's generally no doc stamps assessed on it so long as there is that express reservation of powers in the grantor. So hopefully this has been a useful tool for you and good luck out there, everyone.